Hey everybody, I'm Fighter Couch. And we are the Geek Fighters. Sorry about uh no stream last last week, but we didn't feel up for it. Uh just physically. Yeah. Not even mentally, just physically. <laughs> yeah, and with Easter it wasn't really a uh, yeah, with the weekend did, of yeah. Easter, it just wasn't a good time. Yeah, yeah exactly. So I'm Fighter Couch, like I can say that with me is uh double RPG on the controller and Metal Blue Eyes. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, and guess what, folks? What? It's time for us to go to hell. Oh, uh, yeah, Yay! finally. We're finally Star on Trials the highway again. to Hiffle. King Yimba LPA says, finally. last time on Dragon Ball Z Attack of the Saiyans. Do -do 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 -do. Which, what happened last time, by the way? Um, we <laughs> were finishing up with uh, Krillin's uh, side of the story, you know, to where he had to get Tien and Yamcha together so that way they can go to Kami's Lookout, and then we got a brief glimpse of what was going on with Gohan in the uh, six months he's been alone in the wilderness, and he reunited with Piccolo. Well, that's good. Yeah. Ah, uh, now it's time to throw him at a mountain. <laughs> yep, so, um... Again? <laughs> I guess again, but he, either way, uh... He does wise, do it again, doesn't he? Timeline-wise, it wouldn't really make sense at this point because we're pretty much going back to the point where Goku started uh, out his journey yeah. in hell. So it would be like an interquel or just like a right like, happening side by side with what's going on. But yeah, we get to see the big King Yemma up on the desk. Mm, big King Yemma energy. Yes, and uh, <laughs> Koenma, uh, you're free because it's not even your own. Uh, old man, even though he does need a good pounding for what he did in Yu Yu Hakusho. <laughs> and so, I brought Goku to receive training, body intact. Please, King Yama, allow him to visit King Kai. Aw, oh, thank you, Kami. And yeah, I mean, just looking at him, he definitely does, you know, they do capture his uh, part in the anime pretty well with that portrait. <laughs> Look at King Yama just looking at his friggin' <laughs> I love I love that he's literally just an office worker, even though he's supposed to <laughs> Yes. It's a bureaucrat. He's literally uh Dragon Ball Z's Hermes. Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> so what's been going on the last week's we we haven't talked, so you got so, so you gotta catch people up on what's been going on with us. Oh you double it R. Well, I've been uh, working quite a lot, so uh, last week was uh, pretty uh, was was pretty stressful for me, especially with Easter coming up uh, during that time period. But um, but for the most part, uh, just been also working on episode fifteen, the final episode of my Final Fantasy retrospective. So that's coming along pretty nicely. Hopefully, I'll have that out before the end of this month or early in May uh, at some point. But yeah, that's pretty much what's been going on for the last couple weeks with me. Nice. By the way, uh, LPA said, so it's just filler. <laughs> um, the hell stuff was. Oh, yeah. Um, when Goku yeah. running on the snake way, no, but the hell stuff was. The it, I don't know yeah. if she shows up, but the princess lady snake? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. princess, princess snake. snake. Yeah, yeah that, that was filler. Or she tries seducing Goku and everything, yeah. How about you, Metal? I had a great week actually uh i was able to pick some stuff up thanks to my birthday including uh a game i've been playing pretty heavily the past 24 hours that is the Mega Man battle network legacy collection which just came out so uh all all six games and then all versions of like three through six since they started the whole doing the whole pokemon thing after the first two not to mention, there's also side games, which I don't think are included, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> really. Since it's only the main games that really matter. And it's good damn shit. And I'm also looking forward to uh, Advance Wars Reboot Camp coming up here, so... Yeah. Not to mention, Power Rangers Once and Always is launching here on Wednesday, and uh, me and the buddies at Hero Club are going to be doing a live uh, reaction riff commentary whatever you want to call it of that oh, yeah. uh 
Yeah, on, uh, uh, actually... I am actually gonna join for that double R, so... Yeah. Okay. So you're gonna yeah. watch that and we won't watch AEW together? Yeah. Okay. Basically. Well, the special thing. Oh, hey, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, so we look forward to that this coming Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern over at twitch.tv slash hero club for life. That's a lot so, yeah, coming out just it this out. month. It's crazy. Yeah. And yeah, like I said, yeah, like, even more packed. Yeah, a lot of stuff's coming in June. Like uh, uh, Street Fighter Six and Final Fantasy Sixteen. Fantasy Sixteen. Oh yeah. my God, those are going to be the two heavy hitters for. I, I will. I will say this. Like, like we said, like we were a little miffed that the uh, and more was kind of a lie, but uh, you know what? That trailer delivered. So, uh, you know. All yeah, right. I, I, I'm, I'm all right yeah. with it. Thankfully, I liked. I like Final Fantasy enough to be like cool with it. Boy, I was like, "Where's the hand more?" Exactly. <laughs> it's like and more, and yeah, there is literally no more. Yes, and even now, Kiyoshida says that there's more that they can't wait to show before the game releases. So it's like, where's more at right now? By the way, <laughs> LP, you, you already uh, you already yeah. sold me on that. For he said, just for now, he's gonna buy Spider Man Remastered and. May and June is going to be sick for everything. That's right, May too. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh Tears of the Kingdom comes out that month. It does. Yes, it does, doesn't it? Yep. Oh, lordy. Too That's... many heavy hitters. I thought summer was low. Well, I'm, you know what? Yeah. I've been I've been wanting this. I've always thought that like summer should not be a time for lows. Because that's when most people, you know, kids that play a lot of these games are free mm -hmm. <laughs> to actually play them. You know, it shouldn't just be the the holiday season. Oh yeah, that's pretty oh, cool. Oh, I hear yeah. <laughs> no doubt. Uh, about that. Before I go to me, Starchild said he's just been playing games and watching anime. He started Rise of the Tomb Raider, cool. and then when he beats that, he'll just go. He'll just delete it <laughs> and go to another game. Uh, he finally finished the original Inuyasha, Starchild. Oh. Cool. Oh, the anime. Dang. Yeah. So now he's gonna watch the final act. Then Which the final you, you act, and, yeah, oh yeah, I watched the final act. Uh, it was pretty good, uh, even though it was kind of conspicuous how they managed to fit so much of of what was left of the manga into a twenty six episode show with the final act. Yeah, yeah. He also he's also watching Urusei Yatsura, which I love to find where he's watching that. Find a Blu rays. I, I, did he put Blu rays? Uh, the Inuyasha the one. No, uh, Yatsura, the other um, the older one, maybe, but I would assume that Discotech would probably have the rights to do that. LPH mentioned also the Mario movie is halfway to a billion dollars. Yes, it is. The highest grossing animated film of all time. I really want to watch it. Uh, oh, God. Yeah. And yes, and I've watched it myself, and oh my God, it is good. Not so much story-wise, but so much as a spectacle. It's like, it's one of those things where it's good as a spectacle and you won't even... <laughs> that makes sense, yeah. Yeah. You won't even get that bored with it. And it didn't, it didn't even feel like a hour and a half movie by any standards because the pacing of the movie went so well. I mean, it's like with the Sonic the Hedgehog movies, how I felt that they were paced really well, that they did not feel like they were within their time frame. Uh, what was I doing in the past couple weeks you guys would know what was up oh playing kof trying to trying to go get get good at kof because that one guy who came in and killed us all oh god yeah who was like the third he was he was the third highest rank in the game and we're over here like why'd you even bother to fight us right you already know when, how gonna go down when you're when you guys were literally just playing uh casually now it was public that, that was my fault to put it public, but I also put streaming and, like, casuals only, but, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, this is casual. I'm like, yeah, no, you're, like, the third highest rank, and we're all just noobs. Yeah, well, and, you're, and you're wiping the floor with them, too, so it's like, that doesn't mm -hmm. give you an excuse to, you know, feel like that it's, that you're playing a ranked match in a casual lobby. I was, somebody even said, well, you know, because these guys take it as just serious fights, even, and I'm like... Well, that's not what I was... That's not what, what we think when we think of casual. We don't think it's still a serious fight, like... But, so they, uh, 
So yeah, no, I've been playing that, and, uh... What have I been doing? Uh... How's the, how's the uh, job hunt coming along, or how's the, uh... <laughs> I'm still applying. Or how's still that applying, one for... Uh, what's the... How's oh, that, the one uh, I'm waiting for? Yeah. Yeah, I'm still waiting. What's funny was... Where I applied for that one... I, there was another one I was in, and they kicked me out of that one. Dang. But the one that I'm really waiting for, it still has me in there. So I'm like, I guess I do have that one. I just... Because like, I, I remember messaging them, like, we're taking longer than we thought to start everything up, but, uh... You're still in it? I'm like, cool, because I'd sure like that money. <laughs> it's a lot of money. LPA said, exactly, we're talking about casual matches, unless you make it serious. Exactly. Right. Which we weren't. Oh, okay. Starshaw said, it's, it's, you would just say Yatsura DVDs are unofficial. Uh. Maybe they're from the Animago VHS release? He's not sure. Because Animago is, is legit. It's not I sure. see. So here we go with our long trek through Snake Way. And the, mm. Snake... the prices for Yatsura are like 900 bucks, though, if you want an official. Jesus! Wait, go ahead. I was about to say, thus begins our 600,000 mile trek through Snake Way. Oh, yay. <laughs> and hey, there's the, uh, there's the street sweeper that Goku falls yeah, off of. That's yeah, the, yep, that's the yep. That's the guy. He even yeah. says, "Hey man, don't fall asleep or nothing like that." Okay, Goku. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your narcolepsy sounds strong. I want to fight it. <laughs> His narcolepsy is the most powerful thing in the universe. It's a narcolepsy battle. It's Goku versus Snorlax. Mm -hmm. Golly, you hear that thunder? Oh, yeah. Just huh. barely. Yeah, if you guys hear thunder, that's just my end. Sorry about that. Just, you know. It's, uh, it, it's been like 80-something or 90-something almost past two days, which is so, crazy. So how many Let's episodes bring... to King, King Kai's home? Oh, we'll make it in this episode. Don't worry. Yes, this is filler. I assume it's not going to take forever. Oh, no. <laughs> and they even made a sprite of him lying down. It's like, man, I, I figured he would be <laughs> awake with all that rumbling from the street sweeper. Rumbling. Oh. <laughs> uh, so it's like five to eight episodes. Uh, what are you talking about, LPH? I think he means the actual anime. Oh, in the actual anime. Okay. Uh, if you're talking about, uh, Kai, then yeah, I think that's how long it took, but for the original anime, what, did it take him about maybe ten, like, a little under ten episodes to get to where King Kai is? I'm, I'm double checking. Alright, we're down in the pits of Tartarus. Really? Yep. Nice. Really? Say Tartarus. Damn. Huh. Or we, or I could say the river of sticks, but I like know. I like how it says how many days it took in real in like actual time. It took him 177 days. Damn. Like, that's not. I mean, how many episodes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he oh. he reached Kai, King Kai's planet. Somebody actually did the math here. In Z, it took 13 episodes. Ah, I see. <laughs> and that was after he died, right? Yep. Yeah. And hey, there are the two ogres. Hey! Gauze and... Somebody, and then one. somebody responded, Dear God, that's a lot of filler. <laughs> that was Dragon Ball Z for you. Yeah. Some of the filler I liked, actually, but there's a reason why they made Kai, but like some of the filler like but some Kai almost was too fast paced for me at the same time. I don't know. 
Yeah. <laughs> like, what I would do is, is if, if, if I had all of Z again, you know, the dragon boxes or something like that, mm -hmm. I'd watch Z through with a filler guide and, and, and skip the boring filler. Hell okay, yeah. I, I'm okay with that filler, I'll watch that, but mm -hmm. I'm not okay with that filler. I'll skip that. I gotcha. <laughs> Gauz and Mez from hell. Oh yeah, Gauz and Mez. Yeah, uh, Starchild even said, yeah, Ka uh, Dragon Ball Kai had kind of weird pacing. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, yeah, that's, like you said, that's a symptom of removing any of the, any of the, you know, much of the filler. Elite. Including, you know, great shit like, uh, like the damn, uh, like the damn, you know, space pirate kids and fake Namek. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember oh. that. On their way to Namek. Yeah. Because that was two episodes. Then fake Namek was, what, like three or four, wasn't it? Yep. And then they actually do get to Namek and shit gets moving again, but yeah. Toy making stuff up and then Toriyama going like that never happened. <laughs> <laughs> That's usually how Toriyama later going like, your, your filler here never happened. It doesn't make any Are sense. you sure? But I, I like it when Goku and Piccolo drove cars. Yeah, that's one of the filler you don't skip. Yeah, yeah exactly. that, 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 that's like the can still like, happen. Yeah, it's like unanimous. It's like that's the one piece of filler that everybody likes is because it's a comedy episode <laughs> involving Piccolo dressing up like a human boy. I would say that would be one of the instances where an episode felt more like OG Dragon Ball than Dragon Ball Z, if that well, makes yeah. any sense. <laughs> well, yeah, it was a, yeah, it was a comedy episode, so of course it was. Yeah. <laughs> Since Dragon Ball was more comedic than, than Z, so yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and one of the only episodes where Icarus actually made an appearance in the show outside of the movies. Oh, yeah. Right, right. Right. <laughs> The only other time was during the stuff with the uh, four trunks came. Mm hmm. I don't like thunder and lightning because every time I'm on my computer, I'm like, no. Oh, but, I, man. Uh, but, but, but I thought when I it's in your heart. Now. Man, one time last year when I drove to work in the morning when it was pouring and lightning and thundering so hard. When I got in the parking lot, it boomed like two or three times close to where I was, and I felt like I was going to get killed or get fried. Bruh. That happened to me after the eye appointment once. It was a storm like this. Friggin' boom. Damn. Starshaw said, yeah, he showed up right after the Frieza saga. Mm-hmm. Frieza. Frieza. Fraser. Fraser. Mr. Freezer. Articuno. I don't know if you get that <laughs> one. <laughs> right now, you get it? Yeah. Articuno is <laughs> called Freezer in Japan. In Japan, yeah, Freezer. Articuno. Freezer! Oh, yeah. It's even spelled the same way, Freezer. Like, 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 uh. Dragon Ball. Gauze is top sumo wrestler in hell. Ready for yep, a sumo we, mate. Yep, uh, we have to fight him. <laughs> this is more just traditional fighting than just a sumo match with this random battle. Ah, man. You know, the, the legendary day where they, where they just photoshopped the E and the other L into an F and an I. Yes. Uh. <laughs> Tiffle now, what are you talking about? Yo, that's a sick, that's a sick move right there. The meteor combo. Uh, the meteor combo is always great, I guess. Yeah. Oh, it's oh, it's very useful when you have Goku at a really high level, especially when going up against this game's super boss. Yes. Which again, we're not going to mention who until yeah. we get until we get to that boss fight. Right. <laughs> but it's probably somebody you know. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. And it Maybe and it doesn't make any and it doesn't yeah. really make any sense to not the, a lick uh, of sense. What are you doing here, oh, Super Boss? 
That's a really cool Easter egg, but you shouldn't be here at all. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, right, it's uh, Y, since uh, the A button's only used for command. Uh, I was trying to figure out why I wasn't even doing that uh, guard move. Oh, yeah, because it depends on which part you yeah. Mm, understandable. Dang, man, understandable, young so chap. Hard. I, I feel like the, the vibrations, I don't know. Oh, damn. Are, are you Wait. sure it isn't the rumbling? That's, that's exactly how I was going to say, the rumbling. Oh, man. That was a dungeon. It's a colossal tie, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, there we go. Got Lord Gauze. Doom, I, mean, keep thinking, I keep wanting to say Lord Doom. I'm used to seeing him here. <laughs> yeah. Dark Child. <laughs> Dark Child said he follows a seller on eBay that sells anime stuff like laser discs and soundtracks. And oh, neat. Stuff. And he was selling a dragon box, but he wanted four grand for it. Fuck. When I I sold my dragon boxes, uh, for like a hundred to two hundred each. Mm. Dang. Still, you know, a lot, but nowhere near four grand. Golly. Tarshaw said all his prices are whack. <laughs> Jesus. Price gouging up the ass, that's for sure. Just a little. <laughs> Whoa. Lightning again? Yeah. Dang. Did you tell me that Lord Doom got struck by lightning once? That it left a scar on his chest? Yes. Oh my! <laughs> really? Yep. This is Damn. this is new. This is new lore to me. He mentioned in chat in the stream chat once, so it's not it's it's uh it's public. He he's publicly said that. Sheesh, though. Yeah. I can safely say I've never been struck by lightning. No, before. I I've been close, which is why I'm which is why I get super scared. If you hear mm -hmm. me go ah ah, it's because like. I, I'm still scared of light because I I never even actually I just now I got I, 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 I now I got you got it's you still it's still scary to even be almost struck. Mm -hmm. Oh no no you you're not wrong there. It happened after the eye appointment where like it's it struck near me, and then another time going to going home at another during another storm where I was about to open the door and it struck the door before I opened. It. Dang. Yeah. Zap. Holy crap, that was crazy. Note to self, ladies and gentlemen. Lightning does not screw around. Mm-hmm. I still don't know why it did that on the door, though. That was like a modern home. It shouldn't have even... Should have went to the top of the home, not the door. Most of the time, though, um, it's just still in the sky. It's it's mm -hmm. it's it's when you hear the word "cloud to ground" is when you gotta go like, "Oh, geez, that's where that crap happened." <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, basically. Most of the time, it's just you know, like, "Oh, jeez, ah, oh, jeez, ah, oh, jeez, ah, oh, jeez, Louise, man." Thanks, there, Millhouse. Uh, Star Trail said, uh, that same guy he was talking about was that guy who wanted, um, he was selling the Devil Summoner series. Uh-huh. And he wanted 600 bucks. Jeez. And then, uh, Star Trail said he made an offer, you know, because he had a thing to, or best offer. Uh-huh. <laughs> and Star Trail offered 200, and then that guy just took it, took it off his list. And yes, that's the live action uh, Devil Summoner series, which, oddly enough, was produced by Subaraya. Subaraya made a live action Shin Megami game, which I am. That's kind of funny to me, because. That just seems very unorthodox. Especially for Subaraya, because you do know Ultraman is, like, pro Christian. Mm hmm. And Shin yeah. Megami, not so much. I guess money's money, though. 
Yeah, I guess so. Uh, funny enough, a lot of super, super Ultraman actors were, were in that show, too. Mm. Super <laughs> rare. Funny. I, I didn't even know it existed. Just like how we found out about this this rabbit hole that Wheels, I'm sure, is more than willing to tell you guys. I don't know if he he wants me to say it now or if he's gonna be, uh, or if he wants to be the one to say it. The rabbit hole we found last night about anime. Chat, what do y'all think? Should I just tell y'all, or or, or 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 let Wheels say it? But knowing knowing him, he'd probably be like, Jerry, what, did you tell them? Yeah, no. Why didn't you? On me, on him. I don't know. Sometimes I don't know if he wants to pleasure or not. Probably not. Anyways. So I'll just say it. So the rabbit hole we, me and Wheels fell down last night was the fact that there's a station... There was this PBS station, local PBS, that aired anime in San Jose. And it aired anime that we, we would get popular and known way before Toonami or anywhere else uh, showed it. And they would just like, and they they were the first station in America to air Evangelion and Lane. Yeah, the no. San Jose PBS station. No kidding. Yeah, and you and he had this dude. Uh, dude was cool. His name was um, Fanello or something like that. He passed uh, away though. Uh -huh. Sucks. I wanna. Me and we was like, let's interview him. He's dead. Dang it. Uh, he was like, he was like getting pledgeized and everything, but, uh, unfortunately, as anime got more popular, it was harder for PBS to license them. Yeah. So, cause, you know, they're like, oh, they're gonna bump up the prices, and, like, eventually that, that station got folded into another local station and went away. But still, e Evangelion on the public broadcasting station? Yeah. And Gee. Lane. That is... That and yeah, un it's weird. Unreal. Just imagine, imagine, imagine the count teaching you how to count in Sesame Street, and then immediately after hearing, "You don't seem to understand," <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or you know, little uh, angel little thesis. thesis. Yeah, <laughs> and it's like the one after where Big Shinji's Burgess. getting like mind fucked. Yeah, <laughs> inside of what was it like Rugiel oh, or whatever. Good. I saw that lightning. Dang. LPA said LOL. Darsha said he came across that accident while looking up stuff for Soul Hackers too. The first couple <laughs> of episodes are on YouTube, but the rest is only on VHS or DVD. And the only place he found it was from that seller that, that you know, took it off. Mm -hmm. And on CD Japan, you can find that, that live action yeah. Devil Summoner. But yeah, PBS. Damn. Big Bird. Hey, bye, kids! And the next thing you see is like Shinji. Hi, King Yama. King Yama's like, you came back to the beginning. In this area here where he's looking down at his desk, that's also a traversable area we can walk around in. Golly, what's with all this thunder, bro? You better Kinda... stay up there. Oh, man. Please. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have $1,200 for another Mac. Although I do have uh, um, Apple Care on. I did buy like three years of Apple Care, five years. LPA said PBS was West was hardcore. Yeah. They sure were. Mm hmm Oh boy, but, the rain just got even harder. But but still it's uh It's amazing. I mean imagine if they I mean I can understand like uh maybe some network like Cinemax would do something like that, but still, PBS, holy crap. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? Right. Ah. <laughs> uh, Princess Snake's uh, mansion. Oh, Princess Snake's here too. Okay. Yep, she's here. Very nice, Mr. Joester. Uh. They 
Maybe this is where King Kai lives. Not quite. His... No, you said King Kai, right? It... <laughs> because I heard you say maybe this is where King Pai lives, and I was like, wait a minute. You said King Kai, right? Yes, I did say King Kai. Because I heard King Pai. King Pai? King, <laughs> king, king Pai Chow. No, man, he's he's the king of the pies. He's the king of cherry. Exactly. Oh, so we actually do fight some enemies here in hell. About time, too. In hell. Who would have thought that Princess Snake's mansion ended up as a labyrinth of all things? I did. That's <laughs> well, I mean, hey, we get some good experience out of it, I suppose. Does this mean we get to see Goku relaxing in a uh, hot tub filled with blood at Princess Snake's place? You can tell those were Toei additions. Now. Uh huh. Especially, especially with the, what they did in Princess Snake. That is so. People would be like, wait a minute, this happened in Dragon Ball? I'm like, yeah. Yeah, it did. <laughs> like, one, one snake person headed out. They were trying to seduce him, like like Metal mentioned, like yeah. blood bathing, <laughs> like this, like friggin' you you think this was like berserk? <laughs> yeah, you think so, Jesus. This is All Dragon right. Ball, the same Dragon Ball, yeah. Weird. Yeah. yeah. Weirdly enough, yeah. <laughs> Hope the poison goes away. Oh, it does after you get out of the battle. Oh, so it's not like Pokemon. Oh hey, shit! Hey, no! It. Fuck! What it does? It doesn't oh, no, go no. away. Oh, crap! Uh oh. That's yeah. Funny. Me. Oh, I hope the poison goes away. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Oh, now it went away. Thanks, game. Oh, oh, oh well. <laughs> hey, that's something. That's the one thing I hated in Pokemon. It don't go away either until you're cured or the Pokemon faints. Or they die. Yeah, basically. Oh, God. Yeah, I saw that. Hey, well. Seems like. Ah, no level up, though. Damn it. Uh, seems like the storm's moving finally, though. Bind Knuckle. So, yeah, what we fought was essentially a mimic because there was a enemy hiding inside of that treasure chest. Yeah. yeah. God, you know, you know what game has it the most? Those stupid treasure chest battles where you think you get... Which game? Persona 4. Really? Oh my god, Persona 4. I'm like ready to like leave and it's like, nope. An another shadow jumped out the box. Oh my god. <laughs> a, little, a little too much. Star Shadow said back in the early to mid 90s, he lived outside of city limits in Cedar Creek Lake area. And there wasn't cable out there, so he had to use an antenna or a satellite dish. He got some weird channels out there. That's where he first saw uh, the American run of OG Dragon Ball, as well as, as well as Ronin Warriors, Sailor Moon, and the Bots Master. Damn. Uh, Bot Masters, yeah. Sadly, a franchise that we'll never see again because it's owned by Disney. And oh, really? Disney. Yeah, because there's no proper full release of that show. That's what sucks. No, and and Disney yeah, owns the uh, the distro rights to it. So and I guess they don't care enough to do it. Yeah, not really. It's like, no. oh, that's niche. I'm like, but but I, but I'll give you money still. No, nah, we don't care. Oh, did Disney? Ah, we don't care. Disney bastards. World, they got the baguettes. I think the, the store food. moved. Uh, it's not, it's not going ham anymore. Good. Probably still gonna hear some thunder, but it ain't gonna be close to mm -hmm. me anymore. Yeah, well, I'm over here like 
I'm trying to like draw a webcomic, but I'm like, ah, ah, I'm not drawing anything. Ah. I told all the motivation turned into fear. Ah, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Real quick, because like I said, even even having almost been struck is enough to scare the crap out of me. Like, oh, and Lord no Doom, kidding. like he he got struck, struck. Mm-hmm. Surprised that you know that he's still able to stand. I figured that something like that would have paralyzed him. You know? It depends, yeah. you know? It does depend. Lightning can straight up paralyze you, break all the bones in your body, or just... Or just, like, mess or you just up. Like, just like, ah, I'm just gonna kill you. Or straight up just kill you, yeah. Or, yeah. or, or like, in Lord Doom's case, like, just hurt you just enough to uh, not really... Depends on, you know, well, what kind of lightning strike it is, you know? Mm -hmm. They're not, they're not mm -hmm. all built the same. Some are weaker than others, you know? Starshaw said the OG Dragon Ball was on at like four in the morning on those on the, those channels, and Yeesh. they only show the first five episodes and repeat them over and over. Dang. Oh, looks like it's coming back. I said it moved away, and nice. I was like, "Oh no!" He he said, "I'm coming back." Oh no! Oh, Robot be box. Sex, why do you do this? <laughs> uh. Who's Guaban Sex? Oh, that's actually the uh, uh, native Puerto Rican goddess of the of the storm. There's depression in the ground. Do you want to try stepping on it? Yeah. I know what they mean by depression, like the actual like physical thing, but you know, just yeah, the mm -hmm. joke being you know depression. It's you know, there's depression in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to give it some 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 Xanax? <laughs> Did you want to head out? <laughs> There's a depression on the ground. Do you want to head out with it? No. Yeah, exactly. That's another thing. Electricity moves, so like there's, there's a thing called splash. You know, that's uh -huh. probably also maybe why Lord Doom didn't get hit so hard. Maybe it was the splash one, not the full-on bolt. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it's possible. Star Trail said, depending on how bad it hits you, being electrocuted can actually cause liver and organ failure. Well, obviously, yeah, because you're getting fried. Wait, but again, LPH, get... LPH, is that true? Are they trying to bring back Tailspin? Oh, boy. I, 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 I've always kind of hoped so, because I've always... I like some... Uh, ooh, I do, too. Ooh, 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 Especially ooh. The, the game. NES, I had that game. Did you? Uh, no, I never had it, but I have played it. Yeah. Wait. It might have been... Wait, did I have it or did my cousin? Oh, don't tell me it was uh, Christmas What's-His-Name who had it. No, no, no. no good one. <laughs> oh, okay. Good. Aw. Oh. Goku, you can fly over trap doors that make you fall, man! <laughs> Yeah, I don't, um, this version of Goku always made no sense to me. Especially, like, early Saiyan Saga, Goku made no sense to me. <laughs> because, remember, um, he used Nimbus and everything, even even when he came back uh -huh. to Earth? He, yeah. At this point, because he already knew it at the end of OG by fighting when he fought Piccolo, right? Mm -hmm. He already knew how to fly. Yeah. So I don't know why he never flew, even, like... In early Z, like it's like, no, you already know how to fly. You already know Buku Jutsu. Yeah. He just for some reason d uh, moved again. Oh, right, my head. <laughs> first things first. Let me make sure I save so that way I don't go through that. Oh boy, die. metal. Didn't you have a saving thing? Yeah. Ah. Uh... It's, yeah, and Mega Man Battle Network, it still haunts me, man, to this day. We were like, you were like, ah, oh. we are like, what happened? I was like, you know that thing I don't do what I should do? We're like, save? You're like, yup. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, Starshell said his friend's cousin had lightning strike next to him and burned his finger and toenails off. Jeez! Dang. LPH said, uh, a Robocop TV show is coming, too. I heard oh, yeah. that. I heard somewhere that Robocop is probably going to get rebooted, so maybe the TV show is what he's referring to. I guess so. 
Oh look, it's Princess Snake. So, the the fourth snake of the Les Enfants Terribles project, right? <laughs> Lady. <laughs> hey, speaking of... Uh, Double R quote-tweeted uh, Lukajin about what game came out when you turned 18. Yes. And apparently, yeah, for you, uh, that year was Metal Gear Solid 3. Mm-hmm. And for Lukajin, it was... Uh, it, for Lukajin, it was Super Metroid. And, and yeah. if you thought... You didn't think that she's 46? Oh yeah, she is that age. I, but she, I, I but did not know that. Yeah, and she doesn't even look the part. At all. No. So it's yeah, like it was... It, it yeah, play. it was uh, MGS3 for me, but l you tell mm. them what game it was for you when it came to... Uh, this is hilarious. I, I want to look exactly what game came out closest to my birthday when I actually did turn 18. And one day right after my birthday... The World Ends With You came out on DS. Hmm. So that's literally the game that came out when I turned 18. Interesting. Definitely one of the DS's uh, fine gems. And I have it on my external with, uh, from Plus, the remake, the re remaster. Oh, um... <laughs> the remaster? Neo, The World Ends With You? No, that's a sequel. Oh, it's a sequel? Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They, they did do a remaster on the Switch called Final Remix. Oh, okay. But the thing about it is, is that it requires you to play the game with the Joy-Cons only. Oh, so I can't play it on my light. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, sad. Sad but true. Also, it's kind of a rarity since that version came out back uh, the year when the Switch launched, if I recall correctly. Mm. I think so. That sounds familiar. Mm-hmm. LPH, for him, uh, it was a GOAT of 2008. Oh, uh, world, world Ends With You. Oh, yeah. World Ends, world ends With You is fun. Kind of, kind of, uh, a bit of a learning curve at first, but for, for it being... About uh, his, what, uh, 2008 was a good year for video games in general, yep. Oh, yeah, MGS4 was one, and, uh... Devil May Cry 4 was another one. I still need to beat Devil May Cry 4. You can get that on uh, Plus, can't you? Yeah, yeah, I already. Yep, it's 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 one of my. Uh, it's 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 a game I had. I I actually bought the game years mm -hmm. ago. I just never beat it. <laughs> Some reason. It happens. <laughs> Princess Snake thinking that Goku's a gentleman. Ha. <laughs> That's uh, funny, because he's not. Exactly. If she's Princess... I mean, if she's like the fourth snake of the Big Boss clone project, then she would. she must have an English accent, much like Liquid does. Oh, oh yes. Uh, please that's, that's cool. don't. Please don't leave, brother. <laughs> or else I'll so be I'll embedded. Look up, in doo -doo -pee -pee. Or or else I'll be embedded into <laughs> the arm of a patriot spy. Hey, hey, double R, check the chat. I'm gonna check what came out it's February seventeenth, two thousand eight. Okay. And I don't know what game came out. So, oh, okay. But yeah, I'll, I'll keep an eye. I'll, I'll have to look myself, actually, you know? Hmm. Because I think Star Child said something before that, Kyle. Oh, God. <laughs> look how scary Princess Snake looks. Star Child said something about Halo came out when he was eight. It looks like that she has freaking Super Saiyan hair. She's she's Super Saiyan orange, is what it so is. The day the day after you uh the day after your uh, 17th the 18th of February because nothing came out the 17th but the 18th of February, MX versus ATV Untamed came out and Need for Speed Pro Street came out. Huh. On ESP. That was in 2005. 2008. Oh, 2008. Oh, I see. And then, and then right after that, Dynasty Warrior 6 came out in the 19th. Alright, yep, we fight Princess and Snake and... Dragon Quest Swords. We fight Princess Snake and her bitches. <laughs> Why? 
So yeah, boss fight. Need for Speed Pro Street, and then right after that, Dragon Quest 6. That's, I mean, Dragon Quest and Dynasty Warriors 6. That's not bad. Ooh, -er. Oh, Princess Snake, you're gonna be... Ugh. Something tells me we have to get her first, because she can revive her servants. Yeah, kill the bitch! <laughs> no one came. Well, of course nobody came, because you already have all your servants uh, at the beck and call. Mm -hmm. You're probably wondering why I'm using Meteor Combination so much. It's because it's really a powerful skill to use. It is, yeah. It seems like it. Like the good utility here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if only I could use some of my ultimate skills on these uh, enemies, but unfortunately... <laughs> We still haven't even learned Kaioken or Spirit Bomb yet for Goku. None of the, the King Kai fists? Nope, none of the King Kai fists. Kaioken times 10! Star Child says the game that came out closest to his 18th birthday was Capcom vs. SNK 2. Now really? that's a good one. Mm. Alright, Princess Snake is down for the count. Now we just need to get these uh, two hoe bags. Some of the ones that came out in early 2005, I would have also listed them as my 18th birthday. But just for the year alone, I'd say the biggest one for me that was closest towards my birthday was uh, Metal Gear Solid 3. But that was the vanilla version, Snake Eater. Oh, yes, the snake. Yeah, yes, the one with the horrible camera. Yes, where they continued to use that camera from the first and second game. Sadly. Instead of the more superior 360-degree camera, which the re-release uh, incorporated subsistence. Yeah, good old... Yeah, good stuff. Snake beater. One of the best... One of the best achievement names ever. Sometimes you just gotta dine on a tree frog. You said snake beater. It's like, oh god, are we talking about uh, a utensil that you use for cooking snakes? <laughs> yes, yes. Dang. Man, more of these snakes? This, <laughs> this, is, more, this is more. This is turning more into snakes on a plane than it is uh, <laughs> Dragon Ball. It, it seems. Yeah, yeah. Do we read the chat? Because I'll do it. Oh, yeah, I've been reading the chat. Alright. Well, okay, I'm good. I'm good now. Good. So, what. What. Um. Was there something that you were looking for, or did you just need to. I need to get up. Oh, okay, that's fine. Wasn't sure if the, uh, lightning was giving you, uh, the runaround or whatever. No, it's. But... I want to say it's calling up, but last time I did that, it came back. <laughs> I'm like, you know? So, yeah, but hey, I managed to take care of Princess Snake and her hoebag servants. Woo! Now you're inside her. Yep. Oh, no, Pietro, so how long until Goku says MF? <laughs> <laughs> Go again. It looks like it's calmed down. Now I'm still hearing 
Man, can I, can I just do what I need to do? Please, don't leave me hanging. Because I'm the resident advisor. Oh, boy. Guess the you line know, they from that movie. That because that's how you always went home. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, crap. Crawl. Oh, right. What kind of a name is that, anyway? Nickname? Gave it to me on my freshman year, because that's how I always got home. Yep. <laughs> it's always fun to watch that movie. I need to watch it again. I only have that movie on VHS. <laughs> Funny enough. Yeah, I have it on VHS and DVD. Alright, so we're fighting Princess Snake's true form. Which honestly looks more like uh, part Shenron, part Serpent. Right. Just looking at it. Yeah. <laughs> and just like before, I'm going to be spamming uh, meteor combinations on this boss. I would. Yeah. Because, like I said, it is a uber powerful technique for Goku in this in the early parts of this game. Well, I would actually say more mid parts now. Yeah, I'd say we're probably about halfway through this game now. That's a cool, cool looking move too. Mm hmm. It is. Yet the only time he ever used it in the uh, story was against Piccolo, Piccolo. Jr. Me, it'd be cool I, if he uh, used it. Uh, right? If he used, if he used it on uh, other opponents too. But yeah, only Piccolo Jr. is like. Oh, come on, Toriyama. <laughs> got her. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I got a level up out of that, so that made it even more sweet. Seriously. Warm. Like, it We're, looks like... Hey, Lord Doom! Doom. Yeah. No? Lord hey, Doom! Lord. What's up? You're looking at uh, Super Saiyan Orange right here, a.k.a. Princess Snake on screen. Right. Well, we I will tell you what it's actually up, Lord Doom, is the rabbit hole me and Wheels fell down last night about PBS airing Evangelion. And Zero Experiments Lane before the rest of the country ever did. Yeah, that, that really blew me away too, Lord Doom. You know, you got Big Bird teaching people how to count. Big Bird saying goodbye, the count teaches people how to count. And then you hear, uh... You don't seem to understand. Or, or Cruel, Z Cruel Angel's thesis. Yeah, that'd be uh, nuts. Shinji getting, you know, yeah. Getting his freak on. Lord Doom said for some reason he looked at that and thought, when did Goku go go inside Lord Jabu Jabu? <laughs> <laughs> I see what you mean there, Lord Doom. He also says Chinji was the hero we, being the hero we deserve. <laughs> oh, LPH asked, can Princess Sneak Snake beat Orochimaru. Uh, well, they both got good genjutsus. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Goku, rejoice. You finally made it to the end of Snake Way. Man. Whoa. 
Oh, Lord Doom was quick enough to answer that. He says, yes, Princess Snake can beat Orochimaru. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean... All forms are, uh, during the Boruto era. That's exactly why I didn't say anything this time. I was like, I'm a, it looks like it's calm, but I'm not going to say nothing because and then you heard that. Boom. Yes. Yep, that's why I didn't say anything. And there's his home. Yes, you go you go to his planet and then all of a sudden you just get flattened. Yep. Ten times Earth gravity. <laughs> oh. Assuming Princess Snake is just like too much. Oh, we're already done with her. No, I mean I mean like why 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 she could beat Orochimaru. Yeah, I kinda wonder that myself. Would she be strong enough to defeat uh, Orochimaru's summon? Monda. How much? 20 bucks. Sheesh. Ah. <laughs> Princess Dude. Snake is a giant snake. Yeah. Ah, yeah. That's Monda's betrothed, yeah, well, Princess well, Snake. Yeah, her true form. <laughs> huh? Mm hmm. I'm going to want to go You wake up both. Are you sure it's still on? Yes. Ah, uh, it's bubbles. Ah, bubbles. Bubbles. Does that mean Michael Jackson's up here? It's on that more like Golly. <laughs> that must be King. Ka uh, about that, Goku. <laughs> Lord Doom said, in reality, she's at least Raditz level. What's Roshimaru gonna do against an Earth energy, like Earth destroying That's energy wave? Hmm. <laughs> Just uh, doing uh, bubbles talk. Bubble. I mean, that's Just what like, he does. yeah. Because isn't it uh, Chris Sabat who also does his voice? <laughs> does he? Sabat. I think so. For, uh, Bubbles? Yeah. Nice set of wheels you got there, King Kai. I like seeing it. Nice wheels, King Kai. Be shame if something happened to it. Oh, there he is. Hey! What are you doing? Ultraman Z. <laughs> oh, God, don't get me started with that. Oh, why? How to find a flea bite? Uh, I I can't even do King Kai's voice. Oh yeah, I mean, it's kind of kind of kind of high and scratchy. Yeah, they give him that voice where they make him sound like a wise old man in Japanese. Yeah, yeah it's Shemmel again. For him. he's he's doing his head cannon. So but no, up, uh... this is not King Kai. This this is a, what we said. It's Ultraman Z. So mm -hmm. you know that we're literally in hell right now. The King of Laughs at your service, so King Kai. Like he decided to make him sound like an old-timey cartoon character. Yeah. And, uh, That's what I'd imagine, yeah. Why, why he sounds like he does. Thanks, Shemmel. That's my pet, Bubbles. Oh, so you're Michael Jackson, the Prince of Pop? But you look too old to be him. Golly. 
Uh, Lord Doom said something about uh, fate lore. You might want to read, Jerry. Me? Yeah. It's, I just did more deep diving into fate lore, and they really need to put more respect on Assassin Sasaki Kojiro's name. Okay. I remember you telling me that Kojiro was like way stronger than I thought. I was like, what? He could decapitate Herc according to a rider. Oh, Kodro could? Hey, I remember I remember Lord Dude mentioning that. But I think but I guess it's it's confirmed definitely now. If you don't know Hercules, you well, you already know Hercules, Heracles. Of course. Uh-huh. You already know how strong he is, even without being a fate just just knowing the name. <laughs> King Kai getting pissed at Goku for not appreciating his jokes, even though they were kind of low-key. You know, if they ever did dub Kamen Rider, that'd be interesting. So LPH asks, what if the Dragon Ball Z cast dubbed Kamen Rider Decade? That'd be, yeah, as you said, that would be interesting. How about you, Metal? What do you think of that? You know, <laughs> I'd like to see that. Special weather statement, as you could, you already hear the thunder, but I wonder what it's going to say. I wonder. Eastern Hamden, Mass. Camp. A strong thunderstorm will impact portions of northwestern Tolland, Hartford. None of those cities are in, but okay. <laughs> Uh, in order for Goku to be trained by King Kai, wasn't it, wasn't him? Wasn't he the one supposed to be telling a joke to get King Kai to laugh? It says here, get indoors when you hear thunder. Do oh, not yeah. no get in. activity <laughs> until at least 30 minutes after the storm is passed. Okay, here it goes. Uh, strong winds could cause minor damage such as down branches. Pea-sized hail. Huh. Jeez. Well. Well. Lesser than, I mean, the lesser of the two evils, that or golf ball size hail, or softball Oof. size. Yeah, pea Jeez. size is way better than the other ones, exactly. Mm hmm. <clears throat> now, PA says, so it passed New York then, I, I guess. I guess it's moving its way to Boston now, huh? Unless it's moving up. Why did the turkey cross the road? To prove he wasn't chicken. Oh yeah, friggin' King Kai's joke test. Yeah. And yet, Goku in the English dub was the only was the only uh, one who would ever tell a yo mama joke. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he did. Yeah, when he went up against Oob. He did. Hey, metal. Although it was, yeah. although I would, I will admit <laughs> that was pretty weak for a yo mama joke. Speaking of Shemmel metal, uh, how about that hip hop Goku? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> yo, my name is Goku, and I'm here to say. Yeah, if you don't know Shemmel voice, like this, like wannabe white kid who's like a wannabe like a, a fake Eminem in like Yu-Gi-Oh! GX yes <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh god and then he calls somebody like a duty head or a poo-poo head in that show or something uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX is dubbed as like it's, it's glorious it's like it's like a bridge before a bridge it was already like <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. Pretty much. <laughs> Good stuff.
I want you guys to have made all this up, but I know you aren't, Lord Doom says. <laughs> yep. <laughs> LPH, too bad. Well, Goku, I... Goku already is. There's already a Goku that is. <laughs> let me, uh, let me, uh, put it in the Discord. It's too ridiculous to be made up. <laughs> By the way, the the go Sean Shamo saying that's right, Poopy Head is his, his other character, one of his other characters in GX. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's too ridiculous to be made up. Drip Goku is black. 100%. I will die on that hill. <laughs> now, Lord Doom, it's funny you mention that because now you're making me think of Goku wearing, like, Sora's clothing from Kingdom Hearts 2. They deleted the video, but I got the Reddit thread where they, where they where they linked it. So you know, like I did, I did not make this up. Ah, oh, that sucks. I did not make up hip hop Goku. And all, but but I could I could I could give you the poopy head one. Uh huh. That one's still there. Cool. Funny. Shemel doing that. Lord Doom says, "I'm surprised you didn't think of your your Jordans are fake." <laughs> <laughs> the internet trying to make Kaus into a liar. That's wild. <laughs> They're deleting videos just. To prove it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Star Child. I mean. Not everybody is gonna like uh, any but uh, an artist's art style or whatever. I mean, I know there are lots of other character artists out there who are superior to than that of Nomura. <laughs> it's the internet trying to gaslight you. <laughs> It was like I wanted to, you know, when I was on, I think it was Ningen, where you showed that Reddit clip of that remix of Vegeta yelling out bingo when Beerus was there uh, during the Battle of the Gods movie, where he's like, bingo, 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 go, bingo, 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 go. Yeah, I was trying to find that page, and I can't even find it. Yeah, I know, they... Yeah, they take, the, they take that stuff down way too soon. <laughs> FPA said, I've seen too much stuff on the internet. <laughs> oh boy, howdy. Too much stuff that makes you want to forget, like, uh. <coughs> two girls, one cup. <coughs> well, you said it. <laughs> Lord Deuce said, I'm doing it. I'm getting back into FGO and I'm investing in Nobunaga. I don't care how bad she is. Well, hey, I oh. got her up to level 90 anyways myself. Nobu Nobu. Ooh, guilty. Said, guilty. <laughs> guilty of heresy. <laughs> oh, boy.
Those sands possess power greater than you, King Kai? Heresy, I say! Heresy! Technically, yeah, right? Mm-hmm. Because King Kai is supposed to be a deity, yeah, right? Be, exactly, yes, yes he is. <laughs> that was the trial. We can proceed straight to sentencing, as Lord Doom put it. <laughs> uh. So yes, we're now starting the first phase of the training where we have to chase both Gregory and Bubbles. Bubbles? Well, first with Bubbles, we gotta catch him, and then with uh, Gregory, catch up to him and hit him with a mallet. <laughs> yes, uh, yep. you are absolutely right, Starchild, and I actually got those pre-ordered on my Switch. Uh, the bundle, so I... I'm looking forward to playing those when they come out on Wednesday. Lord Doom says he realized how quickly Z would have ended if he were Goku. He'd have let Krillin kill Vegeta so Namek would have been unwinnable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lordy. Uh, yeah, l l let's save, just in case anything bad happens. A Probably a good idea. Kyle, ABS. Always be saving. Mm -hmm. Something I should learn from. <laughs> Abs. Abs, exactly. Always be saving. Abs. Hey, do you have abs? Always be saving. Lord Deuce and have let Raditz die the first time. Storm seems like it stopped thundering, but I, I, I'm not. I'm not getting. I'm not gonna get hopeful. To... <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. So he'd have let. So he'd have let Krillin kill Vegeta, so Namek would have been unwinnable, or let Raditz die the first time, or like, or let Raditz die the first time, then get folded by Vegeta, or he'd have just brute forced the time chamber. <laughs> Learning the Kaioken or the Spirit Bob. Oh, he just caught bubbles. He, well, I just caught bubbles. So next up is going up against Gregory. Be able to mess Kaioken. <laughs> Star Child says he would have told Guru to merge with Dende so he wouldn't die. <laughs> ah. Imagine if they had fusion. It'd be hard to imagine what Dende would have looked like if he were to fuse with Guru. Super Kami Guru? Yeah, that would have been horrifying. Ooh. Would he look like a job of the hut? Ba oh no. <laughs> I don't want to think about that. A young job of the hut? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Lord Doom. I'd have killed Guru myself. No one else can awaken their potential. Oh, that, that means that Gohan and Krillin would be smashed to pieces. Oh, yeah. It would have died it, it, when they went up against Raccoon. Or do said, we can't have more beasts running around. <laughs> uh oh. Looks like King Kai's giving us a, a task to do before we go up again. You know, try to hit Gregory with a hammer. We have to go back to Yima Forest because we got a little bit of unfinished business we need to take care of with a certain Saiyan that we killed before going to hell.
Lord Stars. <laughs> I s about getting you. You mentioned getting smashed to pieces, Kyle, without the power up. Star Trek said they got smashed to pieces anyway. <laughs> and then Lord Doom said he created his Goku Black team in Legends. This time with special guest Super Saiyan Broly. Ah. Super Broly or Z Broly? I would imagine Z Broly based on <laughs> what he said. But if it is Super Broly, then. Good idea. I mean, both are in the game. Master. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it is Z Broly. Z -Broly. Okay. okay. The yellow one, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, um. King Kai mentioned that Raditz is ca causing trouble in Yuma Forest, and Goku is, uh. Shocked, because that, he thought, huh. because he thought that King Yama said that he already Yama took care of him. Stay. Yeah, he was like, no, he's no problem. I put him in the Yama lock. Also, also King Yama. He didn't do nothing. His name's Griffith. Raditz oh, didn't. Raditz did do nothing wrong. No, he did not. Oh. I forgot about this. Since we're having to go back to Yemma Forest, Gregory and Bubbles are going to be joining us. They're they're going to be temporary party members. Oh, that's interesting. But here's <laughs> but here's the but here's the thing. But here's the thing, though. They they have their own AI, so they actually uh, you can't actually command them. Hmm. Oh, there's Gregory. Finally. Well, Gregory, what else do you look like? So, we don't have to travel through Snake Way again just to uh, get to where Raditz is. So, uh, that means we can actually uh, go to a warp point to get okay, there faster. And, uh, by the way, but this, it's on like Donkey Kong. <laughs> like some copywritten catchphrase. And Lord Doom mentioned about the Z Broly is that he's an HP buff. And ah. all the blacks need mm -hmm. that. He actually got his wife with that recently. Hmm. Crazy how, like... Woof, I never expected April to be, you know, muggy and then a thunder... Like, like this. Obtained finisher beam. Okay. It's almost like something is changing. You can imagine I'm looking around it just to see if, um, you know, uh, if I can get some Z combo uh, scrolls, like or S combo scrolls, like uh, this one for platonic energy. Here we go. Old fashioned well. <laughs> wow. Oh. Holy crap! Did you notice that? What? Thirty six nineteen. Yep. Nice. Uh, oh. Yeah, I was looking at the. I didn't even, I didn't even notice. Stylish sedan. Well, I mean, uh... I really do like the flow of the stream that's going on today. Mm-hmm. Just like how I like the flow of the, uh, Mario movie when I watched it. Lord Deuce said yeah, wasn't that. everybody's thing, but hey, yeah. whatever. Yeah. It's what, you know, um, Cat, uh, Pat and Wooly were talking about the movie. And, like, I was like, Pat, well, like, I'm like, wait a minute, there's still people who don't know who Mario is? And Woody was like, yeah, there's still old people who don't know who Mario is. The reason why 
I say that's because you know the critics give it low scores. Mm -hmm. so you don't know Mario. And it's like, man, how you like, man. Yeah, as you can see, that uh, Gregory and Bubbles, they do yeah, not they do have their own. Yeah. yeah, they they do not have their own uh, st uh, status bars or anything like that since they're all AI controlled. So technically, they can't exactly. die, but but they can uh, flee from battle in case they get hurt too much. Oh, LPH even said in 2023. Yeah, exactly. I don't. <laughs> the fact that like that's why the critics have been because they don't know Mario is so, like, like what? Like, you never had even a grandkid that played Mario? Yeah, I don't get that. Or, I don't buy it. It didn't that... explain anything. It's Mario! Even my grandparents knew who Mario was. Yeah! No, exact. I was just gonna say that, LPH. I literally was gonna say that. He read my mind. It's like saying you don't know who Superman is. Or even someone like Mickey Mouse. Mine's pretty ubiquitous in pop culture. Oh, yeah. That's a word I don't get to do at all. Ubiquitous? Yeah. That's a very powerful word, too. Just means everywhere. So wow, Gregor 12 years ago today, uh, Kyle, I just got a memory. 12 years ago today, I got my 3DS. Oh, hmm. cool. Huh. Cool. I don't know. Dang, came out 12 years ago 3DS? Yes, it, it did. Yes, it did. Because it was a launch 3DS I got, I remember. Mm hmm Funnily enough, I, that... I had one myself, yeah. Funnily enough, my 3DS that's modded to do that video capture... Hey, mm -hmm. it, it, it is an OG 3DS oh, on my part. The launch model. Cool. Mm hmm So, Gregory can actually use Spirit Ball, I see. Ooh, neat. I, wait, any of you guys see... I don't know if Star Child's still here, but... If you are Star Child, uh, you, you found a, a Chase Razor Ramon figure. And, and you put it, and you put it in, the, in the chat. If you guys don't know, that'll explain what a Chase figure is. Basically, it's one that's packed a lot less than other figures in the same assortment. Like, for example, say a case of figures has like 10, 10 figures in it, uh -huh. then th you'll only going to be getting one of those per case, as opposed to the others, which are like two or three a case. And they're usually like harder to find stuff, or maybe sometimes uh, variants. Because that's kind of how Funko does it, I know, with their, like, chase variants. Like the glow-in-the-darks, or, like, the clears, or whatever. And a lot of wrestling figures do that, too. Yeah, they do. That's wrestling what, figures... What yeah. Different, yeah, variants and everything. Starshaw said, yeah, the Razor Ramon chase variant. His Walmart had three of them, strangely enough. Wow. Well, they must, well, must have gotten, like, three cases. Well, I'm pretty sure... That, uh, well, I'm pretty sure that they want, our, they want to truly honor Scott Hall's memory since he's already <laughs> no longer with us, you know? I don't, I don't know if they even think about that. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Lord Doof said about Superman, I don't know who Superman is. He sounds like someone that fit, fights that physically weak villain, Darkseid. <laughs> <laughs> so who would be the stronger one? Mitzelplitz? Or Mitzelpix? Or whatever his name is? I can see it. Fifth dimensional jerk. Oh yeah, that asshole. I forgot who voiced him in uh, the anime series. Was, was, was it Godfrey? Maybe. I can't remember. <laughs> Even LPH said it. The imp whose name I'm not going to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he had, a, he had a lot of uh, voice actors. Boy. <laughs> 
trying to figure out the one who... Yeah, it was Gilbert Gottfried in the, in the animated series. Yep. Nice. And it was Frank Welker in the old, um, Super Friends. Well, of course. Oh, he was in S Super Friends? Mitzelplex? Yeah. Yep. Mix... Bah, whatever. Yeah, Lord Doom even said, uh... Yes, it was. And, uh... Yep. Now, now that's interesting. I would have never thought he would actually appear in an, uh, that show. If, like, if somebody had the nerve to say, you know what, Harley Quinn, she actually existed during the Super Friends era. It's like, when? Oh, and uh, he has a few chase figures. Oh, and uh, speaking of video games that I also got recently, aside from Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection on Switch, I also did pick up Jitsu Squad. Ooh, neat. yes, the indie beat 'em up where um, it has Max Million Dude as a uh, special guest assist. Yeah. Oh Sasha my! Says, uh, the few uh, chase figures he has is a. 2002 mechanic MO to you chase figure, the Darby Allen chase figure, and a few of the 2002 color variant MO to you figures. Darby. Light screens out of the stuff. <laughs> Darby Allen, more like Darby Asthma Allen. Ah, oh, yes, that promo. <laughs> that uh I love you guys at Botchamania or whoever made that. Yeah, but, yeah, whoever made that. Yeah. Yeah, because those sometimes those they're mad because sometimes they're memes that are that are so Yeah, the yeah, the in, the ending segments for uh Botchamania, yeah. they're actually done by users and not yeah. by uh Matthew or whatever his name is. Hey, Matthew, if you're out there, remember me. Fine if you don't. There, you can see that Bubbles fled because he already took too much damage in the fight. Oh, yeah, fight. It literally just happened as soon as you said it. On my end, Bubbles fled. Yeah, dead. but don't worry. When we enter a new battle, he'll be back again. I like how you're fighting, like, Purple God Jr. Yeah. But still, we haven't found any newer enemies that tops the, uh... The, the, pa the panda with the gun. The angry uh, Bancho panda man with the gun. <laughs> imagine if we imagine if we came up to it towards another panda, but this time he's packing heat with the heavy machine gun. Heavy. You never played slug. Metal Slug? Wow. <laughs> what about Metal Slug? Lord Doom said, hey, you keep messing with that panda and y'all gonna find out. Capital. <laughs> and um, you can tell that I put the scouter on and and it acts as a uh, Libra of source because you can now actually get the uh, l the rundown of what their stats look like too. <laughs> Gunpowder versus cocaine bear, LPH. <laughs> <laughs> 
gun candid. Lord Doom said, that panda has a point to prove to God, humanity, and Yujiro Hanma. <laughs> <laughs> right, because Yujiro made, made a point of killing pandas before. Panda's like, I'm here to, I'm here to avenge him. I don't know. <laughs> I like but Benji. <laughs> Sleep! Yay! That's where I'm a that's where I'm a, a Viking. Did you know Metal? There was a huge decades long argument over what 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 Ralph meant by saying that's where I'm a Viking. I guess he left. Or I guess he wouldn't know. Lord Doom said, Yujiro is not the true threat that walks this earth. He's doing oh. it purely to prove that point. Don't fear Yujiro, fear the panda, the gun panda. Yes. Ah, oh, here's a uh, fake Super <laughs> Saiyan 3 Raditz. Why? Because his hair is black. He's base form. Hey, Raditz! But here's the thing, though, with Raditz's sprite. He doesn't even have a halo over his head. Inconsistency. Alright, so we're going up against uh, Raditz a second time in this game. Alrighty, let's kill his ass. Or loophole. But no, you haven't heard of that metal? No? I think I have. About where Ralph says he's a Viking? People actually are arguing over what he meant by that. That he meant that he's so good at sleep <laughs> that he's a Viking? Or that's where, or sleep, that's where he is a viking because he dreams. By the way, I'm pretty sure he meant straight forward and he just meant that's where he is with dream. People actually argue that. Uh, Lord Dew said he wants a secret boss that we're talking about to be a panda with a chain gun in one hand and a chainsaw in the other. He wants it so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Your combination? Yep. <laughs> yeah, nice try, Bubbles. Threw his uh, banana peel at Raditz to think it that would actually uh, stun him. If that actually worked, I would have been really impressed. But yeah, you see that Raditz doesn't even have a halo over his head. Because he's a bitch. He is? Yeah, Gregory already fled. So, just me and uh, Bubbles right now. Oh, Bubbles did a punch and he actually did damage with it too. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. His, his punch can definitely pack some heat. Bye bye bubbles. Bye bye. Now it's, now it's just Goku and it's just a clash of brothers right now. <coughs> that thing that, I, that he forgets he has. Goku. I have a brother? Oh yeah. Virgil, I'm going to stop you. Oh, 
Ben Southworth, no! <laughs> Boy, he strikes fast. Well, you know. LPH said about the brother, Dad liked me best. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's do a bit of healing. Use the key drink Z to give me a full refill. There we go. I wonder if Lord Doom will appreciate this lore about Geese Howard. Remember, Brandon. Before Ge Geese Howard became the Prime Lord he was, did you know <laughs> Kyle this is real? So when he came, when, when he was growing up, Geese actually tried and failed to be to be a pastor. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, Geese Howard was trying to be a minister, a pastor. He was like, yo, they were like, we can't let you be a minister. And he was like, why not? <laughs> Why? He became a crime lord. He's like, fine, I'll go the opposite end then. If I can't be on the side of angels, I guess. <laughs> lord Do said he's actually not surprised at all. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was like, wait, what? That's legit? <laughs> That's like mixtape material right there. <laughs> Geese Howard, or Father Howard. Or Father Goose. Father Goose. <laughs> Father Geese. <laughs> Lord right. Two said I'd have been more shocked if he told me he made it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we got Raditz down for the count. Woo! But, uh, that's not the last time we're gonna fight against him. Yeah, we're going to be fighting him one last time before Vegeta and Nappa arrives. So, just you wait. Yeah, even Gregory says it. I don't think he's learned his lesson. He's going to cause trouble again. <laughs> well, he's not wrong. Yeah, he's technically right. The best kind. Exactly. Still, Geese Howard tried to be a pastor. Imagine if that were to be and uh, the entirety of the uh, actual storyline of uh, Fatal Fury just took a wrong turn. <laughs> How much more this caterpillar gonna take on it? Yeah, 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 yeah. It actually, I, I double checked just to see if like I wasn't making it up. No, no. Yeah, he actually did try. Dang. <laughs> yeah, he did try. To be <laughs> he just. Lord Doom said, "Actually, never mind. I wouldn't have been surprised if he made it either, because then the answer would have been he bribed the church." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'd say that's about right. Oh! 
Rock, Rock is a super is criminal. A criminal. <laughs> and his past your dad, Geese, just wants to put him on the right path. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, and, and going back to the actual game, LPA said, just wait until the Ginyu Force wrecks hell. If they yes. ever did. <laughs> and Geese will try to help Rock with his best friends, Andy and Terry. <laughs> Imagine if that was the plot for, you know, the new Garo Mark of the Wolves sequel. Geese wasn't dead all along, and he's actually helping. Yeah, right, because because you remember the. I don't know if you actually beat Garo, but. Well, I did. I never beat the. Final I never boss. got the. I never got the real ending. Yeah, Star me Star Child did. But if you do get the real ending, it, it uh, Rock decides to go with his with his bad uncle. Huh. And Terry's like, well, I can really? stop you, but. Yeah, Kane R. Heinlein, or whatever his name mm. was. Rock's like, man, I'm going with him. And Terry's like, uh, I'm not going to stop you, but, uh, yeah, well, okay. Let's try All I do, try to raise you. And... Your prerogative. And also, Akuma is there not killing anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Starshell mentioned that, yeah, he got that, that, that true ending. Because in order to do it in Garo, you need to get triple S or... You need to get, like, S or higher in every fight. And you need to not die when fighting, um... Or, or not lose any, any round. And not lose but, any, um, matches. But still, yeah, not, that's not just... Continue. That's just criminal. Yeah, I never been able to do it. I got close, but then Grant beat me, and I'm like, dang, dang. I hate it when games throw a curveball at you like that. LPH, Akuma, Hitman for Hire. The worst hitman ever. Yes. Since he never really killed anybody. The guy... I mean, for, you, know, you know that Sugar Punch guy? Mm-hmm. He put up a video yesterday where he even said, Don't tell me that Akuma never killed anybody's stuff. I'm getting sick of it. But I was like, but, I was like, but it's true! <laughs> Why are you mad? Why you have to be mad? Who's mad? Yeah, exactly. Lord Doom even said Akuma would constantly be giving out refunds because he always <laughs> fails. Yeah. Starshaw said he saved the video and uploaded it on YouTube. Where he did that. Aw, uh, cool. Oops. Now well, we're back, Mr. Funny Deity. He's getting ready to skip it up. Watch out. Skip it up. Bada. Honestly, that boss fight against Raditz was definitely a lot easier than going up against him the first time with Pickle. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Well, I bet. Had to have been. Mm hmm. You remember that time Nappa came back? Oh, and GT? Yeah, I just saw that clip earlier today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he just got <laughs> off by Vegeta real quickly. Yeah, no remorse. He was like, I'll do it again. I'll kill you again. And Bowie did. Yeah. And all Nappa did in the dub was go, He never said any actual words. Ah. Uh. Poor what's his name. Didn't even get to say a word for his character. Just like Cell Max with Norio Wakamoto with Cell Max. Oh, hey, golly. what do you mean all they do is yell? That's lame. They did Cell Max dirty in that movie. I mean, even though I do like Dragon Ball Super Superhero, but yeah, they did Cell Max dirty. <laughs> they did. But hey, he's the bad guy. He's, he's supposed to be shit on. It's <laughs> like. Does, I, I even keep bringing this up. Does Toriyama have a thing against Cell? I think he might. I mean, I know he was really hard to draw back then, but it's just like... You still 
hold that grudge even after for how long? <laughs> as long as he needs. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, hey, Baba's here. Ooh. LPH, uh, Star says he used Terry when he when he did that ending, so you could actually see the one I'm talking about, where Rock's like, no, man. And uh, LPH said, next time, send him to the next dimension. Lord Duke <laughs> said, funnily enough about Vegeta, is uh, Vegeta probably feels even less guilty about killing him that second time around. Exactly, right? Yeah. So yes, uh, looks like they're going to bring Goku back over to Earth while he's still dead. But we're going to help the others find the Dragon Balls. So, filler activity again. Mm -hmm. And just to think that this came from Monolith Soft's minds. Right? Since they're the, the developers of this game, yeah. And I really LPH wish Monolith said we I... need to put Gohan over. Yes. Yeah. Now I was just saying I really wish that Monolith Soft would have been given the Dragon Ball IP uh, some, you know, more time with the IP so that way they could well, have yes. made, you know, golly, only if only what would have been, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lord Duke said. Nappa got the run, uh, Vegeta got the run back and the moral justification to not even hesitate. You know, exactly. Alright, and we got to the end of that chapter and uh, I think we'll go ahead and we'll end off this stream. Yeah, why right not? Here. Sounds yeah, good. Th yeah, it sounds like it looks like a good place for it to end. Right here. Mm -hmm. I'd say so. I was actually thinking about that. I was like, uh, I'm, I was even going to say not going to blame you if you decide to call it here because of the, the way the game works. Yeah. <laughs> so we made it to the end of chapter 9 we're going into chapter 10 next time uh, but that here's the thing though next week I gotta work from noon to 8pm on yeah. next Saturday so either we're not gonna stream at all or me and Metal will pick something else mm -hmm. but I hope this is not a permanent thing because if, it, if I get that same schedule for the Saturday after this one that's coming up yeah then this is gonna be a problem for us We'll, we'll, uh, we'll try and figure something out, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I guess I'll go ahead and I'll plug, uh, yep. since it's my fir uh, it's my turn to plug this time around. Mm -hmm. So, um, you guys can find me on YouTube and Twitch at Double RPG Reviews. YouTube is my bread and butter. I'm currently working on episode 15, the final episode of my Final Fantasy Retrospective. And I should have that out in at least a couple weeks or uh, sometime around the beginning of May. So be sure to look out for that. Um, I uh, also also on Twitch, I stream on there, but I also stream on YouTube at the same time via Restream. So make sure you follow me at both those sources when you possibly can. And in the meantime, be sure to follow me through social media on Facebook and Twitter at Double RPG Reviews. And that's me. Indeed you. Well, me, I'm easy. I'm just Metal Blue Eyes here at YouTube, as well as Metal Blue Eyes Zero on Twitter. Also, check out hero club.com for all your hero news across social media at Hero Club for Life, especially Wednesdays and Fridays, where we stream Fridays at 9 p.m. Eastern, where we just play a game and chill. And Wednesdays is usually our news and talk show. But this week coming up, it's a special live reaction commentary riffing of. Once and always, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 30th Anniversary Spectacular. So check it out. This Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern on Hero Club's Twitch. All right. As for me, you can follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash fighterkaus, F-I-G-H-T-E-R-X-A-O-S. I stream Tuesdays and Fridays. Tuesdays is King of Fighters Fridays, mm -hmm. Fate Grand Order. At 4 p.m. Eastern. And check out my social media, the same name, Fighter Cows, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. For anything else I'd be, I'd be doing, like fake videos, and web comics, and the like. That's it. All right. So, um, 
next time, if Kaos and Metal decides to stream, they'll think of something. But if not, then I guess we'll see you next time for episode uh, 7 of this live stream, where we're going into chapter 10, where we're going to have Goku, who is still dead, uh, come back to Earth and help out the rest of Earth's special forces with finding the rest of the Dragon Balls. And um, funnily enough, uh, we'll actually be seeing some OG Dragon Ball characters during this uh, during this uh, part of the game as well, like uh, Ader, for example. I got the dub called them Earth Special Force, like the yeah. friggin' GI Joe. Yeah, well, I didn't want to call them Z Warriors because they're or Z Fighters because it just doesn't really make any sense from localization from a localization point of view. But then again, as you mentioned, they don't really have a team name. Uh-huh. For, they don't. Yeah. Some people call them Z-Warriors, Z-Senshi, but... Let's just call them Earth's Heroes. That just seems more appropriate. <laughs> but anyways, um, we all hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend, and to yeah. sign off, I am Double RPG. Metal Blue Eyes. I'm Fire Cows. And Fighter Cows, you know how to end off the stream with those two special words. And they are... Peace out, everybody. We'll see you next time. Laters!